Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome. I missed you guys yesterday, but I am back and I'm excited to bring the word to you today. My name is Tandiwe Alita and I have a prophetic word that I'd like to share with you guys. It's going to be a very interesting word. Brace yourselves. So um, before I get into the word, remember, not every prophetic word is meant for you. So take it before the Lord if you believe it's meant for you and um, be sure to talk to him about it. And for some of you, this may be confirmation, which is even better. Still take it to him. Pray about it. Pray about everything. Okay, friends. So I want to start by reading Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. This is a declaration, guys. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So God is saying that he has plans for you. He has plans for your life. He has plans for every aspect of your life. He knows what they are and those plans are to prosper you. They are not to harm you. They are plans to give you a hope and a future. So we agree. God's plans for us are perfect. Right. Glad we agree on that. (laughs) So this is a word on the infamous list. You know that list. Oh, okay. You don't know. Okay. Let me, let me refresh your memory. He has to be tall. She needs to be able to cook. They have to love God. They need to be a family person. He needs to have this type of job. He needs to earn this amount of money. He needs to do this and that, and she needs to do this and that, that list. That's the list that I'm talking about. Sound familiar? I thought so. So friends, the Lord is saying to you today, it's time to surrender that list. He's saying some of you need to let it go. You may have written that list out on God's instruction. He may have said to you, he may have confirmed it to you and said, go ahead and write the list. Tell me what you want. And you ran with it. You went with it and you wrote that list and you've got like a comprehensive spreadsheet with tabs for every area. (laughs) of what your married life will be and you wrote the list and you prayed over it and you have besides praying over it you have memorized it it is etched etched in your mind there is no variation to it you know exactly what that list has and you are confident that this is what the lord is going to give you because why he told you to write the list right well Here's here's the curveball in this whole thing. Even though, sorry, my son is outside. Even though God may have asked you to write the list, my question to you is, did you ask him what he wants for you? Did you ask him what he has for you? Did you at any point commit this list to him and say, Lord, you tell me what I should put on the list? Did you ask God what his best is for you? The problem with your list, my friend, is that it's your best for you. It, it's not really God's best for you. We only see with our human eyes and we perceive with our human minds. And if we are not, if we don't commit everything to the Lord and let him be the guide and the leader, we are going to operate mostly from the flesh. So there are probably a lot of good things on your list. As I mentioned earlier, he has to love God. She has to love God. They have to go to church, whatever, all those beautiful, lovely things. But Most of your list is based on your flesh. When we start saying things like he has to have this kind of job and they have to earn this amount of money and they have to be able to provide ABC and they have to look like this and they have to be this tall and they have to um, just all these things that are based on the natural, on what we see. um, All of these things can change instantly they can fade away beauty is fleeting says the bible and charm is deceptive um jobs can be lost 
in the blinking of an eye. And um, people can become bankrupt in no time. So when we, when we base our list on all those things and then we itch it into our minds, we, we, we basically burn it into our mind and say, this is what I want and I'm not compromising, we might actually miss our blessing. Um, because it could be standing right in front of you. It could be standing right in front of you, friend. And because you are looking for that which you wrote on your list, you might just miss it. You might just miss the person that the Lord is placing in front of you. And that is the even bigger problem. The first problem is that your list is based on your best for you. And the even bigger problem is that you might miss your blessing. So I'll tell you a little bit of... of uh, I don't know if I can call it a testimony, but how it went down for me. So, uh, I think it was 2018, August. I can remember the month because there was a church conference that happens every year around about that time of year. And I had, so before attending the conference, I was spending time with my pastor's wife and she was telling me about how her and her husband met. So she mentioned that she had a list, right? And then um, she was, she kind of um, expressed that I should, you know, write down the specifics that I want and tell God what I want. So I I didn't really take it. um, I didn't really run with it from that moment on. I just thought, oh, well, you know what? That's a nice, um, that's a nice idea. I didn't, I didn't take it on, you know, completely. Then the conference comes around a few days later and during this conference, someone is preaching and their preach has got nothing to do with specifics or writing down a list of specifics. But at some point, they interrupted their own preach to say, hey, some of you need to write down specifics and tell the Lord specifically what you want. And that's when I was like, oh, Lord, are you talking to me? This is the second time you asked me to write down specifics. So... I kind of wait. I didn't really start writing anything then. And then what was the third sign? See what, oh, this was this one was this was like the cherry on the cake. Uh someone that I had been doing group therapy with. Um so this was our last uh well we had had our last session it was a 6 month kind of group therapy healing thing that we're doing in the church and this was the the dinner night because we had completed the course and we were, we were having our celebratory dinner and one of the ladies gave me a note and she said oh this is your letter of blessing um, because she had missed the previous week and we, we had all given each other blessings so she wrote this beautiful letter to me uh, and one of the things she wrote in the letter was um you know, God has a really wonderful man for you and you should pray and tell God exactly what you want. Give him specifics, everything from um, his relationship with God, his character, his looks, everything. Write it down. God will surprise you. So that was like my, that was my go ahead. I went, baby, and I did that list. I was in that list. <laughs> I, I'm that person who had a spreadsheet. Okay, I had a tab for every area, Uh, relationship with God, relationship with family, relationship with friends, job, I forgot all the other things, Um, looks was the last tab because I was trying to not be superficial, like that's not the most important thing, but because you asked me Lord to tell you what I want in that area, I'm still going to put it on there, but it's it's at the end, it's not the most important, (laughs) anyway, so then I thanked God and I prayed over my list and I began to obsess over it over and over. I was just obsessed with that list. Obsessed. And fast forward to almost a year later. Yeah, almost a year later, the Lord eventually said, listen, daughter, give me that list. Like, can you just give me that list and just leave it alone? And I, I was like, okay, but why? He's like, look at you. Every time there's a potential, um, mate, there's a potential 
someone for you to consider you are obsessing over the list and what they should have and I need you to surrender that to me and I was like oh okay all right Lord okay I hear you I'm gonna surrender this list but you gotta help me because I've been obsessing over it I've been constantly you know like memorizing this thing <laughs> and um, yeah, so I surrendered it. I said, okay, Lord, you take it. And it it took a while. It wasn't like I surrendered it and I felt great and I was like, I'm open to whatever you have for me, Lord. It took a while. I still would find myself very resistant if if if, if I, if I um, had ideas of what if the Lord gives me someone who's like this? What if the Lord sends me someone who's like that? What if he looks like this? And what if he doesn't fit that description? So I would have those moments and every time I had those moments, I would say, okay, Lord, surrender, I surrender. I, sur I just kept surrendering all of it until I reached a point where I was so content and so at, um, at peace with your will, Lord, not my will. Your will, not my will. I just remember saying, Lord, I, I actually don't know what is best for me. I don't know what I actually need. You are the one who knows exactly who I need in my life. You know all the details. So I I just had such a peace about it. And it's actually liberated me so much, so much, because I'm no longer panicking. I'm no longer like, oh my goodness, who is this person that's talking to me? What do they look like? What, what do they do? And all these things. And it's given me so much peace, so much peace. And allowed me to actually just be open to what the Lord has for me because I know that his plans for me are perfect. They're plans to prosper me. They're plans not to harm me. They're plans of peace. They're plans, um, they're, they're good plans all in all, you know? So I, it took a while, but I reached that point. I mean, a while is a few months, but I reached that point of complete peace and acceptance for whatever the Lord has for me. So I'm here today to tell you that even if the Lord told you to write that list, um, you have to look back at how you executed that. Did you, did you start off saying, Lord, let's, let's write this list together. You tell me what to put on, on this uh, piece of paper or, or on my spreadsheet, like some of us. Um, recently I heard I read the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful um, phrases, statements, and it said, let me read it actually, because I put it down in my notes, and it says, where are you? The best way to use your free will is to relinquish it to the Father. That is the best way to use your free will, is to say, not my will, but your will, Lord. You know me better than I know myself. You know the person you have for me better than they know themselves. And you know that we are a perfect match. So instead of me looking for what I want, what I believe is best for me and missing out on the person that's standing right in front of me, who, um, who would help me meet my kingdom purpose, who would, who I would help meet their kingdom purpose, who together we would have, um, a life consecrated to you, Lord, who would fight with me. You know, we would warrior together and um, have joy together and, and live the life that you have for us together. Instead of me worrying about uh, what they look like, what they do, Lord, I give all of that up to you. So friends, I encourage you today, really sit down and ask yourself, when you wrote that list, even though the Lord may have told you to write the list, what was your plan? How did you execute it? How did you write that list? Was it surrendered to the Lord even before you wrote it? Because that is the key. That is the key. So friends, that is the word I have for you today. Let me just check if I missed anything else. So I wrote here, good looks fade away and jobs can be lost. But the person God has for you, the person who has true godly character and is walking in God's will and leading for their life will bear much fruit. And you, you together will eat of the good of the land all the days of your life. So friends, go back, have a look at your list, have a look at 
how you came about it and what the Lord is saying to you. Really committed to him in prayer. And I encourage you to to surrender it. I really encourage you to. It's actually, it will set you free. That list had me in bondage, guys. It had me in bondage. And when I let it go, when I went through the process of constantly surrendering, every time it came up, I became free. I was set free. And that was just so liberating. So I encourage you, take it to the Lord. Take it back to him and have a sit down and chat with him. Because you might, that person that God has for you might be right there in front of you. And you don't know it because you're looking for your own thing. So that's the word I have for you today, friends. Thank you so much for watching, for listening, for all your support. Thank you to everyone who's joined um, my membership side of YouTube. I really appreciate it. Uh, if for anyone who would like to join still, there is a join button somewhere on this page next to the subscribe button, I think. Um, on some devices, I think it says see perks. Uh, if you don't see any of that or you can't find those buttons, please go into the description box because I have the link there. It's I think it's the last link that I I put in the description box. Um, I'd really appreciate your support in that regard. Thank you so much to everyone who has purchased my EP. I keep getting emails that people are still purchasing it. I am just in awe of the Lord in this regard. So I'm really grateful for anyone who still wants to purchase it. All the details are in the description box. And I think that is all. May you all have an awesome day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. Remember that you serve a wonderful, loving father and you are so special to him. No matter who tries, I know I'm winning.